Hello, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is a reading for Scorpio from December 23rd to December 31st, 2019. Hello Scorpio, hello Cross Watchers. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers I'm gaining. I'm really happy about that. I'm using the Mystical Cats Tarot deck today for you and then the Chakra Wisdom Tarot deck and then I will pull a couple of Fantasy Cats Oracle cards and then an Angel and Ancestor Oracle card for you. So please remember that time is fluid and you probably come across this when you're meant to come across it. Remember also the feminine masculine energies can be vice versa. And there's no way this can connect to every single Scorpio out there. So if it doesn't connect to you, you should go watch your Moon signs and your Venus sign videos. And that will help you out a lot. So, thank you for that. Okay, so I shuffled the decks before I turn the camera on, but I just give them one more shuffle and cut the deck once I turn the camera on so they can fall into place one last time where they want to. And I do a little white light meditation before I do the reading and put my blessings out to all of you who come across this video. Okay, so here we go. So the first card we have for you, Scorpio, is Skycom. So this is somebody being rude to you. So I feel like it's usually a friend when this comes out because there's a different card when it's just a one-time thing from somebody. But this is probably somebody around you. They make underhanded comments to you and they like are just condescending to you. Which is weird that it came out first, but that's what came out. So this is Fire Kitten. This has to do with you having a curiosity about something I feel and you have to be careful because the cat is about ready to touch the flame and he could get burned. So you have to be careful with maybe a temptation out there or a curiosity that is is got your attention but also it could mean that something has got your attention and you're going to grow into a little curiosity you have could grow into something positive for you so a lot of, sometimes the cards have a couple different meanings wow and this is the demon cat so this is a Capricorn if you have a Capricorn around you Scorpio or this is somebody who's just mean to you so for these two to come out I feel like is pretty much saying that somebody around you is being hurtful and mean and spiteful and hopefully you know who that is if not you need to observe the people around you because that's a bad energy you don't need in your life so this is good this is six of sky this tells me you may know who it is People are bickering and fighting around you and that is you removing yourself from the situation or the lower energy vibration, which is good. That's what you need to do if this applies to you and somebody like that is around you. And this is good. This is a chariot major arcana. So this could mean a couple things as well. This could be a risk of starting over somewhere in your life. It could be a job. It could be a relationship, a move, something of that sort. Or it could mean that something new is coming into your life and it's positive. This is a positive card. So even if you have a risk of starting something over, this is good. You're meant to is what this card says, basically. And this is Sea Queen. So this is clarity. I feel like you're going to be able to balance yourself out or this could be somebody around you that is balanced out. Their coins are where they're supposed to be, their emotions are in check, they're balanced and they have a good foundation. Or you could be heading that way if it's not somebody in your life that you know. So this is Ace of Sky. This is Ace of Sky is an opportunity. So this is meaning, I'm looking at trying to feel what an opportunity could be like. So this could be a something positive coming into your life. So I feel like after you gain the clarity, okay, I put the two cards together, that makes more sense. After you get the, clar the clarity here, or maybe somebody is going to help you come to clarity, you're going to have an opportunity come into you.
Grace, very good. This is you waiting. So you're waiting for something. You see the kitty is on the little walkway here. He has a water and he has a rainbows. And I feel like you're trying to get to the rainbows. I think this may have came up in your last reading as well. And this tells me that you're balanced, you're where you're supposed to be, and when the time is right, you will move into that rainbow area. But it has to be the time, the divine has to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. So this is Ten of Earth. This is a couple things as well. This could be somebody helping you um, with their house, maybe letting you stay with them, or you're letting somebody stay with you. You're sharing your house and your things. I feel like this is generosity. Somebody's being generous to you or you're being generous to someone else is what that card means to me. So I'm going to pull a card for clarification for the demon cat. Let's see what comes up. Oh, that's even... This is bad. <laughs> I mean, it's it's okay, but at least you're getting the acknowledgement of it. So Seven of Sky is somebody doing something behind your back. So it showed before you're going to walk away from it. But these three cards, Scorpio, I hope this isn't you, but I feel like somebody around you is a lower vibration and they are just being rude to you in front of your face. They're being mean and this they're doing something behind your back. Unless this is two other people you know. I'm not really sure. Okay, and Ace of Fire, this is a warning, this is protection. So you need to protect yourself against these lower vibrations. This is Sky Queen, this could be somebody observing you, watching you, and you're not aware they're watching you. They're being very quiet. And why would somebody be watching you? So Two of Fire is you trying to make a decision. You're thinking and thinking, and I feel like... When you turn around, it'll come to you. When you don't know what to do, I, I suggest you stand still and don't do anything at all. Because when it comes to you, you'll know what to do. And usually that's how it happens. You'll just be doing something all of a sudden. It's like, wham, I know what I need to do. So I'm going to move to the Chakra Wisdom Tarot and see what comes up in there. So Three of Wands. Three of Wands is also a journey or a vision. This is you looking out to your future and planning and thinking where you want it to go. And you see the light there, so I feel like you have dreams and you can make it to that light, is what that card tells me. And this is the Devil card again. So you've had it twice in both decks. And this tells me it could be a Capricorn. If you have a Capricorn around you, it's representing the Capricorn. If you don't have a Capricorn around you, this is a lower negative energy around you. Somebody is like trying to knock you off balance, I feel. So King of Cups, this is a good card. The King of Cups is a provider. So I feel like you are trying to provide for somebody. And this says you're doing a very good job, is what this says. So you're working hard, is what I'm getting. So Princess of Wands, this is somebody younger than you, and this is somebody loyal, and they have a tender heart. She is tender, she's romantic, and she's loyal, and she's honest. So I don't know if you're providing for that person. So this is Five of Coins. This is Rejection. I feel like, I don't know if you're rejecting somebody or somebody's rejecting you. And I feel like this may have something to do with your childhood. Something from your childhood may come in, be coming out around you at this time. Princess of Coins. This is good. This is a person who is very good with their coins. They're practical and they're, they're just practical. I, I'm not sure if I want to use the word frugal. But she's smart with her coins. She plans accordingly, she makes enough, and she does what she needs to do with them. And she, it seems like she pays her bills first, and then she just is responsible. The Emperor, very nice. The Emperor's Major Arcana, this is an ambitious leader who is in control. So hopefully this is you, Scorpio. If not, then this could be a boss figure around you, or this could be you as a boss in a workplace. Like I said, this is a person who is controlled. A lot of people don't like the Emperor card because it's almost a boss. Um, 
and a lot of people are their own boss and they don't need a boss. So you have to decide how this applies to you. Is that you being a boss for yourself or is that somebody being a boss to you? So Six of Cups is a healing card. This is telling me you're going to heal from something, which is good. I'm not sure what that is. Temperance, this is awesome. This is destiny. This is your future. This is compassion. This is the universe guiding you to where you're supposed to be. And I know it doesn't always feel like that, but trust me, they are looking out for you. And they're guiding you to a more positive life. It's just whether we listen to them or not, or we follow their little little signs they give us. So let me pull another card. Let me look at these real fast. So you have Sky Tom, Six of Sky, Three of Wands, the Chariot, the Grace. So you have two cards telling me destiny is looking out for you. And the King card, so you have the King... The Emperor, those are pretty powerful, and the Princess of Coins and the Princess of Wands. So you have a female around you, I feel, that is very strong and very practical. And feel free to vice versa energy. If you feel like this is a male and I'm calling it a female, then you feel free to vice versa those energies as well. That's what I'm feeling, that somebody is being negative and condescending. Um, I don't know. Purple. I don't understand where that's coming from. So let me pull another card. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is victory. So I feel like you're going to have victory over what's coming into your life. So you're going to get through the hard times or whatever you're going through right now if this applies to some of you out there. You're going to heal. These three cards right here are really positive. The Emperor, if that's you, that's positive too. If it's not you, you might have an overbearing boss. So Six of Cups is healing, Temperance is patience, and the universe guiding you, and Six of Wands is a victory. So you are going to move out of this negative energy into a positive time is totally what I'm picking up. And this is awesome. Scorpio, this is the star of the heart chakra. This is wish fulfillment and dreams coming to you and of course all your dreams and wish fulfillments can't come to you at once for some people they may but most people that's not how it works so something you've been dreaming of wanting is in your reach you're going to have victory and success with that eight of coins eight of coins is reputation and freedom so i feel like Somebody may be trying to tarnish your reputation with this one coin, and that is really not going to affect your your life. So try not to let that bother you if somebody's trying to knock you down with the, your reputation and such. It, they're not going to be able to, basically, is what I'm saying. So Knight of Coins. This is beautiful, Scorpio. This is honorable. This is an honorable person with their money. They work hard for their money. I feel like this is you. You work hard for your money and you deserve it. And I don't hope nobody's trying to take it away from you because you are honorable with your work and honorable with your money. And those are two good things to be honorable at, if you ask me. So now we have Seven of Coins, which is a crossroads. You're at a crossroads concerning something. Um... Yeah, you're at a crossroads and you don't know what to do. And I feel like it may have to do with your money, so it could be a job situation. Maybe you have a you want to change jobs, you have a different job in mind because the Knight of Coins came up and then the Seven of Coins. So that's pretty important. The Sun, beautiful, beautiful. So for these two cards to come up, you're going to land up okay, Scorpio. These are beautiful. The sun is one of the best cards in the deck, if not the best card. And the stars is the universe looking out for you. So the universe is guiding you to have your dreams. They're guiding you to abundance, to love, happiness, money, everything. You have to listen and feel in your heart or listen for your inner voice to speak to you. And if you listen to it, they're trying very hard to guide you to that place. 
and two of coins. This is you being flexible and compromising, and this again is two good qualities to have, Scorpio. People who compromise have a lot, a much happier life. So let me pull a couple fantasy cats oracle cards for you. So the first one I have is dreaming number three. Beautiful. So pay attention to your dreams, Scorpio. I feel like, you know, a lot of you should write them down. When you wake up, you're going to forget it. Have a little piece of paper by your bed, and as soon as you wake up and you're thinking of a dream, write it down, write down the date. There's Google searches you can Google uh, to figure out your dreams, and you have to go to a lot of them. Just, don't just go to one. Go to a few of them and see where they match up, and then go with that answer is what I would do, how I would do it. And I don't know if I've mentioned this in the Scorpio reading before, but I've read a lot of books, and years ago, I don't know if they still do it, but Native Americans would have the elders sleep in the teepees, and they would keep journals of what people's dreams were, because they felt that was very important. So I feel like it is important as well. Our subconscious gives us insight to our dreams. Okay, so the next card I have for you is Enchantment, number 15, which would equal 6 if you add it together, and that one's a 3, so 3-6 three could mean something to you, and if you add them together, it would be 9, so I don't know if 9 means something to you. But this, to me, represents a Virgo in the deck. You see, she has, the Virgo in the regular tarot deck always has a lantern, and she's looking into it for clarity. And she gets answers very quick, and she does not second-guess herself. So this tells me that you're going to get the answers to a lot of things going on in your life. But you're also getting ready to feel almost magic, almost like fairy tale like life is coming to you if you pay attention. And I feel like for this is very powerful for dreams and enchantment to come out together. That says a lot to me. So let me read out of the oracle rule to see what that says. So dreams was three. Dreaming. Your subconscious mind knows the way. Trust the whispers of your dreams. Embrace inner symbols. Listen to intuitions and give yourself over to psychic impressions. Balance on the threshold. Reach beyond the veil. Follow the sun to discover your inner moon. Allow the warmth and fantasy of sunlight to lull you into dream states. Catnap often, curl up in the light, and allow warmth to overtake your being while going on an inner journey and lucid dream. Explore all fantasies in a dream state first before bringing this reality to your life. Test the waters first, experiment, play, and go deep. The cat looks and observes. Be like the cat. Know yourself to know the past, present, and future. Cats often engage in dream states while awake. So as I said, yeah, that's very important that if you keep track of them, something might come to you. You might be like, oh my gosh, this makes sense, and really shock yourself. So enchantment says, true magic is effortless. Allow the beauty of the world to seduce you back to your authentic self. The true self surfaces as you shed the false layers assigned to you. Cultivate the inner light thriving inside you and do not fear sharing your gifts with the world. The answer was in you all along. Make magic and tend to the sacred fire of your soul. Weave enchantment with every gesture. Allow the universe to support and encourage your every move. Shine like a beacon for those who have lost their way. Dream the world into existence the way the world has dreamt you. Nothing is an accident. Allow the magic of the cat to envelope you. You are the cat, and the cat is you. There is no difference. All things are interconnected. This is the secret of all magic. So I really, before I even read that, I felt magic coming out of this reading. I do. You're being guided into such an awesome, better life than what you're in right now. And I know it's hard to believe when you're in um, a space that is hard, and you're struggling, but hard... Change is hard. Change is not easy, and we all have to go through it. We can live comfortably for a while, and then we get awakened by the universe that it's time to change something, and it's hard. But you grow when you change, and it moves you into a better life. But it's hard. I, I get it. 
So now I'm going to pull an angel and ancestor for you. And the angel and ancestor I have for you. Oh my gosh, it's not wanting to come out. It's stuck to another one. So I don't know if I should do both of them or what. Wow, that hardly happens. Knight, be brave and honest. And you can tell he looks like he's praying. He looks like he is just wanting blessings. And he is really thinking hard. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to pull the next one, you guys, just because they were stuck together. And I peeked at it, and it's very important. So I feel like I do have to pull it for you. Because this reading was really a lot of intuition. So this is Guardian Angel. This is one of the best cards in this deck. I love this deck, and a lot of cards I love. But this is telling me that somebody is around you who has passed Scorpio. This is the White Feather I just almost want to cry. It's telling me that somebody who passed is around you. They are trying to tell you they are with you. Do not feel like they have gone and left you. They have not. And you see the triangle in here? You see the third eye? This is could not be any more apparent to me that somebody is around you and guiding you and protecting you. So when you get down and you feel sad in the hard times, you talk to who you think this person is because somebody is around you that is very special. They are, they wanted to come out in this reading. Like I said, those two cards stuck together. Somebody wanted you to have both those cards, is how I feel. So, Knight says, do the right thing even if it isn't the easiest option. Stand for what you know to be right and true. The Knight is a knight in shining armor dedicated to the crown that he that his sword defends. In this sense, he is a protector of the Holy Grail, and therefore your spiritual growth and expansion. He represents the warrior in you. Whether you are male or female, that energy is within you. His sword and armor show his courageous. He is courageous and strong. But if you look closely, you will see he has a tear running down his cheek. Showing his willingness to be vulnerable and his love for what he protects. This card also brings justice. If you are longing for justice, please know that the universal energies are working to bring everything back into order that you don't need to force anything through your will. If you have made any mistakes recently, it's important to take ownership of them so that you can align yourself with improving the situation. If you are feeling the need to defend your spiritual path, at this time, back down and let it protect you. And I feel that has to do with this negative energy in the beginning of that, in the beginning of this reading. That is heavy. Uh, somebody around you is just being horrible. So let me find the guardian angel. I don't have that card come out that much. I think it has probably came out once or twice. This is probably the second or third time that card has came out. I'm going to say second. It really does not come out that much. And it is a very spiritual card. And for some reason, I can't seem to find it. Oh, here it is. Guardian Angel. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember they are working hard to guide you. The Guardian Angel card shows the white feather that has become known as the Guardian Angel's business card. Whenever a white feather appears in your life and or this card appears in a reading, it's a message to say your guardian angel and ancestor guides are particularly close to you at this time and are there to support you with their love. If you have asked for help with a particular situation, know that there is divine intervention in the works. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So know that you are never alone and never will be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it, then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. This is just beautiful. It's so beautiful. I just can't even stress how beautiful it is. I'm so happy for you Scorpios. 
that this came out. That is a very spiritual reading for, for me to give you guys. Beautiful. All right, thank you so much, Crosswashers and Scorpio. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. I, I'm so happy. <laughs>